everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Ken. So today I'm going to be teaching an uh, intermediate or slightly advanced class. So don't worry too much. You just uh, do whatever you can. Okay. So uh, yoga is a progress, right? So you don't have to get all the poses by today. But it's a uh, knowledge for you to keep and continue the practice. All right. So we are ready. Get into your mat. Slow down your breathing. Turn your body, sit as tall as you can. Soften your neck and shoulders. Sink your knees down. Okay, and we prepare the fingers and put it on our ribs here. Take a deep inhalation. Let the ribs follow the direction of the fingers. Exhale. And we push the ribs to close into the center.
come back. And uh, okay, going to the top line. Keep on sitting tall and flat the knees. Relax the shoulders. Alright, slowly stop. The left knee in. Okay. Maintain the position of the feet. So you don't slide the feet around. Keep it on the ground, only moving the knee. And we flat four rounds. One. Back and forth. Huh? Two. a harder version you can do it without the hands much harder okay and come back all right arm down inhale exhale lengthen and lean forward elbows down keep looking forward maintain slow breathing Relax the shoulders. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows up. Slide the palms back. Lift the body. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Slide forward. Elbows down. Look forward. Keep breathing. Get up anyway and come into the deep squat. Still lengthening the body. Okay, feel the, feel the stretch first. Chill here for a while and maintain slow breathing. Relax the shoulders. Okay, palm down. Walk the elbows. So we are only touching. Make sure you don't bang the elbows into the floor. Not wasting energy, right? So you don't have to uh, do everything with too much force. Okay, be gentle with your body. Come up. Inhale. Exhale, lower the elbows. Uh, put it all the way down into the floor. Maintain slow breathing. The heels are down. Slightly look forward. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, elbows up. One more time, inhale, exhale, elbows down. Keep your bum low, don't lift your bum. Bum stay low, heels stay down. My, my forearm is not heavy, I'm only touching the ground. Inhale, exhale up. Okay, lengthen the body, close the toes, strengthen the toes, lift the heels and balance here. Or if you feel strong, make sure the toes gripping at all times, you can join the palm. Now open the palm is easy, this one is harder. Keep breathing. Body lean forward, heels down. Strong toes lift, balance, look at one point in front of you. Optional. Body forward. Okay, so I'm showing you the side view. You can stay in your position facing the camera. So lifting. 
up now or maintain a strong tone and land your knees down very gently in the sound and then get into your all four position make sure your palm under shoulder the knee under the hip tuck the toes lightly okay inhale exhale and you go into a downward dog Tummy close to your thigh. So your tummy is not far. If it's far, it's a lousy plank, right? So you push your tummy close to your thigh. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, knee down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Tummy close, deep but strong fingers. Pay attention to my elbow. The elbow, don't touch the floor, don't touch, but very near, okay? So, let's try first, inhale, exhale, elbows go very near, don't touch, look to the front, and lift the knee, keep breathing. Mm, the heart heart really kick in, uh, so it's getting harder now. Put the knees down and push the elbow up. So what what you want to pay attention to when you put the elbow down, right? You don't want to go one two. Okay, you want to go down at the same time like that. Doesn't have to be so low, but it's better if you go halfway. But you maintain the uh, maintain the coordination by moving together. So. One, one, two, one. All right. Again. Inhale. Exhale. Elbow slow. Knees up. Strong fingers. Maintain slow breathing. Oh, it's not easy, ah. Huh? I'm also shaking. Inhale. Exhale. Downward dog. Catch your breath. Transfer the weight to your toes as we rest. The arm resting the shoulder blade, let it hang. We are not pushing the floor. Everything just uh, release the energy and let it hang. Inhale. Exhale slowly, lift the body up. Bring the palm half center. Catch your breath. So you feel it on your shoulder blade a lot, right? Okay. Ah. Uh, forget to mention that the pick pose is a headstand. But you don't really have to go up all the way. So it's a conditioning. Which means that whatever you do today, it will help you in your future practice when you want to do headstand. Okay, so come back to the back of the mat. Right palm, inhale, exhale, fold. Try to deepen the fold a bit. Tummy close to the thigh. Walk towards the double dog position. So this is the top part. Uh. The elbows is going low again, but we are not touching the floor. Only going very low. Okay, ready. Make sure you don't go one by one, but go together. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows low. Low forward. Keep breathing. And bend the knee if you feel that your hamstring is very tight. Doesn't matter. Slow breathing. And when you lift your elbow, leave it together at the same time. And deepen your double dog. Catch your breath. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Elbows very low. Make sure you don't do 
like that, huh? Work together. Look forward. Maintain slow breathing. Elbow up together. Deepen your elbow down. Knees down. And then sit your bum to your heels. And we catch our breath for a little while. Swing the arms back and forth. Keeping the shoulders down. This exercise is to strengthen your shoulder blade. Okay, the shoulder blade is the, the secret to most unbalance. If this one is weak, any unbalance or inversion is weak as well. So catch your breath for a while, wipe your sweat. You can drink water but not drink too much. Okay, so we are going to do the same exercise with a slight variation. For downward dog, the palms is apart, but now we are going to put the thumbs together. Alright, the elbows going low, and the knees going low as well. Okay, not touching the floor. Alright, go back to the standing position. Join the palms. Inhale. Exhale. Fold. Walk to downward dog. And now we put the thumbs together at the center. Remember the thumbs together. And go into your downward dog. Inhale. Exhale, elbows low and knees low. Hold, keep breathing, look forward. Hold two breath. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, up, down, and up. One more time, inhale. Exhale, elbows low, knees low, look forward. Hold here for two breaths. Up and you walk the palms towards your toes. Keep breathing, catch your breath. Inhale, exhale, body up. Palm at center. Okay. So a lot of upper body strengthening, right? Right, this time we are going to put the elbows down to the floor. Okay? But you must make sure that your weight is on the forearm. Not on the elbow. Okay? On the forearm. Alright? I think I go more like two other. On more legs so you can see me clearly. Brighter, right? So, uh, thumbs together. Put your thumbs on your forehead. Alright, this is a different version of the headstand, so actually, this is harder to master. And when you use this, you tend to put more weight on your head because it's just very nice to push your head into uh, into your your palms. And if you train you the wrong way to put too much force on your neck, so it's not good, right? So this one is easier to control and easier to progress. Put at the forehead, not the crown. Can remove your spec, okay? For people wearing spec. All right. Come together, downward dog position. Now the elbows go down all the way. Put your forehead at your thumbs. You can keep the knee straight, or you can bend the knee. All right. Forearm push hard. 
the head is not heavy and you walk in one time, two time, walk in, three, four and stay. Walk back, walk back, two more times, push up and you come back by walking the hands towards the toes again. Exhale. Arms together. Okay. Make sure you push really hard with this part. Don't push with your elbow. The palm pushing as well. Not too hard. Just enough energy. So. Imagine if you have something soft, like a styrofoam, and you put it at your palm. Okay, when you put your head down, you shouldn't make this jamak. <laughs> so it must be very really soft palm. Okay, to have a soft palm, this must be strong. Okay, let's do one more time. I know it's uh, not very easy, but just one more time. <laughs> okay. Together, down but not elbow down together. You can bend the knee, okay? Put your forehead down. You can take a smaller step. One, two, small step. Make sure the the forearm is strong. The head is light. Small step. Stay. Walk back. Walk back. Okay, push up. And walk towards your toes again. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale, body up. Short workout and I'm ready sweating. Okay, so for immersion, right? Like uh, the headstand, many things come into play. So your base, your your forearm must be strong. You need to look forward, look forward to open your chest. Okay, of course you need to have core strength but we are not training our core. Uh, core strength helps in inversion but it's not everything. Okay, So we always train from the ground up. So the first contact to the floor is this one. Right? So only makes sense that this one has to be trained. Okay, So if you don't have this strength, so your inversion will not be stable. Okay. We are not going to headstand directly, but we are doing uh, the lowest, the lowest arm balance, which is baby bakasana. Let me show it to you. Okay, arms together. You can bend the knee, no problem. Okay, and you put the knee on your tricep. Look forward. Point the toes. One more time, walk in, knee in, go forward. Don't worry about falling, it's very low. So, when you fall, you won't break anything. Alright, so the knee towards your tricep. Okay, alright, let's try together. Fall. Advanced student, you feel very familiar with the pose. Instead of walking in, you can just jump into your baby bakasana. Okay, 
Okay, let's try two times together. Uh, Tan. Now, what dog? I do walk. Look forward. Knee in. Keep your head. And down. Elbows up. Knee down to the rest. the elbow, spread the strength evenly, remember to look forward, okay, don't think about going up, you're not jumping up, you're actually, actually leaning forward, okay, do it one more time, same, or you can try jumping in, alright, don't worry about falling, you are this far from the ground, very safe, okay, but you can take off your step, if you don't feel safe. One more time. Either walk in or jump in. At your own pace, you either walk or you look forward. Jump in. Breathe. Push the ball up. Up. Knees down. And we shake. Bring the shoulders down. Challenging, huh? It's a good way to learn. Uh, remove your fear. Get used to falling from a low distance. It's a, it's a very safe fall. Don't be afraid of fall if you know that the fall cannot hurt you. So get familiar with the fall. Okay, so progressing, pick pose of the day, same concept, okay, so to get into uh, your headstand, you only need to think about the knee going into your body, the knee going in, if the knee is far, it's harder to uh, stay engaged, Okay, so it's easier to balance if you keep on pushing the knee into your body harder and harder. Alright, so when you do headstand like this, right? Okay, your force is going forward. Again, you are not going up. So let me show you the difference. The first one is the wrong method. I jump up. See, like that. I jump up. Okay, you can see my force is going up. The correct one, I slightly jump forward. I jump forward. Okay. So when you jump forward, you get the step easier. Your body is in line. So if you feel afraid, get near to the wall. Do it on the wall. Same thing. Okay, or you can have a pillow, put something in front of you to break your fall. Okay, so let me show you uh, the easier way to get into the pose. One knee in, two knee in, lean forward. You can take a look first. Like downward dog, walk, can bend the knee, walk in, one knee in, two knee in. Now, Hang out in uh, hip squat. It's a uh, kind of resting, but we are not fully rested. See, technical glitch. <laughs> My top suddenly all dry already. Okay, hang out here for a while, and 
uh, try to slow down your breathing and focus on the pose is uh, very bad when we practice we get more tired uh, we get more frustrated so we try to like take the easy way out we don't focus on really pushing and we just want to jump up first and that's when it gets very dangerous and you forgot to train the most important part okay so let's start again but this time I'm doing the beginner, beginner version for people who couldn't really hold their headstand okay so you can do this thumbs together right same thing elbows down forehead down so you walk near you can bend the knee right so you cannot go up but you train your flexibility and your push and try to straighten your knee as much as possible and put it down again and do it few times okay and this is what you want to practice for beginners all right and the second thing is to bring the knee inwards toward the body and you really push as hard as you can like that knee in down knee in down okay so let's do four or five times like this and if you push hard enough Okay, you will feel your body become lighter and one, one foot, the foot on the bottom will just come off the ground like this. Like that. One, it will just come off this one. Okay, so beginner, train like this. Don't give up, don't rush to jump up. <laughs> okay, so for the intermediate, the advanced, okay just keep on walking towards the front walk until your feet float up one two the feet come up okay try out together and then elbows down forehead down and you walk walk until you float float okay down down One more time. So you walk, walk, float, float, down, down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so for the final one, uh, it's a transition. Only try if your headstand is very good. So you can hold your headstand 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Then you try the transition. Otherwise, it could be quite dangerous. Alright. So try at your own race. Huh? I'll show you the transition. You try later. Okay. Headstand to baby bakasana. Like that. Four head down, walk. Walk up, pull your body forward, look forward. Okay, don't think about going up. Uh, pull your chest forward, pull your head forward. One more time. Extend, forehead down. Pull your body forward. Go forward. Okay. Try a few times. Or oh, don't try. <laughs> Not very easy, yeah. Look very easy on me. Okay. We are going to end the practice. So let's sit in easy pose. Keep the body lighter. So while we practice, we might put some pressure on the neck. Not pushing hard enough and the head is very heavy pushing into the ground. So 
it takes time to progress. Let's lengthen the neck again, the left hand, reach over, pull. Lengthen the shoulder, sink down, stay here. Keep pulling, turn your head to look at the left knee. Gently release. The other side, pull. Lengthen, shoulder sink down. Keep pulling and look at the right knee. Push the jaw upwards. Interlace. Pull and push your neck behind you. Pull and push. so much for joining the practice be patient take time to progress stay safe